Here's part two of our conversation, very casual, with Simon Phillips. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Jack Bruce, how did that experience start? I mean, that must have been interesting. It was wonderful, actually. So uh, I was doing sessions just after 801. We had done that record, I think, or we were about to do it. Um, and I was working a lot with Huey Burns, who was a guitarist that played the famous guitar solo on Baker Street. Mm-hmm. Remember that? Yeah. Jerry Rafferty. Yeah. yeah. So that's Huey. And Huey did, uh, we did loads of sessions together. And Tony Hymas, the keyboard player. And um, Huey was the catalyst in this. He had uh, been talking to Jack. And uh, Jack was looking for a new band. He'd just broken up the band with uh, Mick Taylor and the girl, Carla Blay. And um, he was looking for a new band. It was 1976. So Huey arranged a little meeting down at his house in in Essex. By the way, again, you were quite young. 19. Yeah. Yeah. And we turned up. I set up a... I wouldn't have taken my big kit. It would have been a a small kit. Oh, did I play here? No, no. I think I took a kit. Yeah. And we set up and we played. And instant. It was just fantastic. Um, So that lasted. That was like a two-year... engagement and Jack and I became uh, really good friends. We lived very close to each other. I moved out to that area uh, a few years later, about 76, eight years later, six years later, sorry. Um, So uh, I learned a lot from Jack. He taught me so much. It was great, really lovely. By the way, your your house was, uh, was your house, it wasn't burnt down to the ground, was it, or was it? Yes, everything. Burnt to, yeah, just just flat ash. That's all that was left. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. <clears throat> and so I'm in a, um, still in rented accommodation here in Ojai. I am in Ojai, though. Um, and I'm actually living in the in the town right now. Um, I was lucky enough to get a, well, this is my third rental since, uh, you know, since the fire. Um, and the house is being built now. Um, it's about maybe halfway done. Um and, um, you know, I'm hoping to, to get in it by, well, at least by Christmas, hopefully. Has COVID slowed it down? Has COVID slowed down the, the construction at all? No, not at all. In fact, the, the contractor, um, th- the law here is as long as a, a building had been started before COVID, you can carry on with it. Um, it depends county by county. We're in Ventura County here, not LA County. So things are a little bit different here. Um, obviously we, we have, well, we have less people here, so we have less cases, but it is, it is increasing. That hasn't slowed it down. Okay. The, the thing that will slow it down though is, uh, in order to get the, okay. So the insurance, so with all the building that's going on and all the, the structures that were burnt and having to, to be built again, building prices have gone sky high. Yeah. So the insurance should have covered the rebuild of the house, but it hasn't. Wow. And so I'm, I'm part of a, a, a lawsuit against uh, Edison, Southern California Edison, along with over 500 other people. Um, the, my lawyer team, which is four lawyers, they're, they're representing just over 500 people. There's other lawyer firms representing yeah. you know, people from Paradise and um, um, uh, the Wolsey Fire, the Santa Barbara mudslide. I mean, you you name it. It's just ridiculous. Well, listen, one last thing about that. When that happened to you, how much of a disruption to your career was that? Because your house burns down. Your house burns down. I mean, my God. Uh, it was, <clears throat> on, on one hand, <clears throat> it was huge because I uh, when, when I'm not on the road touring, I work from home. I, I work in my studio, well, in a studio. Because a lot of what I do is also engineering, so I'm mixing projects or I'm, you know, working on them, editing, uh, and, and and that kind of stuff. So, um, oh yeah, I mean, and all my equipment went too, recording equipment, or all, all my drum equipment is stored somewhere else. So thankfully, only a couple of pieces were what at the house. What about gold albums and things like that? I mean, the- all gone. Wow. And and the sad part is, I mean, look. Equipment is replaceable, and I had great insurance on my all my recording equipment, and they were fantastic. That that they had given me a check within a month of the fire, 
and they didn't beat me up too badly. Mm -hmm. Meaning, you know, <clears throat> every insurance, uh, you know, reduces, uh, you know, oh, that wasn't worth that now, and you know that kind of stuff. Yes. They were absolutely fantastic. Pro uh, Music Pro Insurance in, out of New York. Uh, they're actually a Hanover company. You know, um, so that's I great. But the problem is, is where to work. Yeah. There's nowhere to work. So um, I had to uh, – there's a great studio here in town. They were fantastic. I'd already worked there doing sessions, doing my sessions. Uh, they just helped me out knowing. And, and a few people in Ojai who had the private studios, they were fantastic. They, they let me bring all my gear in and work there. And, um, you know, so <clears> – <throat> and then every rental scenario I've had, um, I've been able to set up. Um, a room with all my gear in. It's not, it's not ideal, obviously. It's not a studio, but uh, I do the best I can to, to make it work. And um, yeah, that's how it's been. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Mm -hmm.